Let us begin in our daily walk to the Lord on this uh, for the second weekend, second Sunday of Lent, beginning with Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 4 a. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk, from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great. Abram went as the Lord directed him. God was commanding Abram to leave his homeland, what was comfortable, secure, and familiar, to make a new life totally dependent on the God in whom he put his whole trust. He was leaving all that he had in hand for something completely unknown and unimaginable solely on the word of his God. Psalm 33, verses 20 and 22. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. In Matthew chapter 16, verses 20 to 23, Jesus tells his disciples that he is the Messiah, and furthermore that he must suffer greatly, be killed, and on the third day be raised up. Peter rejects that scenario for Jesus. But Jesus rebukes Peter for thinking as human beings think. The transfiguration takes place soon afterwards in order to assert the undeniability of the, undeniably the messiahship and divinity of Jesus. The presence of Moses and Elijah declares that what God has begun in the Hebrew people was coming to fulfillment in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. God the Father was telling Peter to think as God thinks. Since now, God's voice makes known to Peter what God knows, that Jesus is his beloved Son. In 2 Timothy ver, uh, chapter 1, verse 8b-10, to 10, Beloved, bear your share of hardship for the gospel, with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life. We live out our call to holiness in a world that generally rejects the invisible and the spiritual as not being genuinely real. This requires that we live and act in the strength that only God possesses and readily makes available to us. What is visible and material passes away. What is invisible and spiritual lives on forever.